Hello, today we're going to be making some apple cider using a crock pot. The ingredients are very simple. Nine cups of water, eight apples quartered, make sure they're organic, one sliced orange, three sticks of cinnamon, one tablespoon of clove, and some maple syrup that we will add in at the end. So, let's begin. First, we add in the apples. We do it without the water so that it doesn't splash. Then we add in the water, the orange, cinnamon, and we put the clove into some cheesecloth so that it's much easier later. We set the crock pot on low and cook it for eight hours. Halfway through, we will make a little change. Okay, so it's been four hours, now let's check on it. Oh, it smells good. First, I'm gonna take some of the herbs out. Now we're going to mash the apples up with a potato masher. You want to make sure that you do the apple cider with the skin on because the pectin, the apple pectin, is all in the skin. So the peels are the most important part. That's why you have to get organic. Now that it's all mashed up, I'm going to put the herbs back in it. And the oranges. And we're going to also add a little bit of a sweetener. In this case, we're going to use maple syrup. I'm going to do two tablespoons. Now we let it cook for the next four hours. All right, so we just finished with our eight hours on slow cook for the apple cider. Now we take out the big herbs, the big chunks, and then we will strain all of the awesome apple cider through some cheesecloth. Let's look at this. All right, full of goodness. Nice cinnamon sticks. So I took a strainer and then I wrapped it with the cheesecloth and put it over in a bowl so we could collect all the apple cider. All the juices out. And let's see what we have revealed. Wow, that's some beautiful apple cider. Now all you have to do is serve it. If you're going to refrigerate it, make sure you heat it up before you serve it again. And look at that. Ready to go. Fresh apple cider from your own recipe.